Here is my prophetic gift for all winners worldwide. And because the gift of a man will make room for him and bring him from great men, this gift will bring about a supernatural change in your life yeah. that you'll be speaking about all the days of your life. Yeah. We understand from scriptures in Psalm 133, verse 1 to 3, Behold, how good and how pleasant is it for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious ointment upon the hair that ran down the beard, upon the beard, even Aaron's beard, that went down to his skirt, the skirt of his garment. For there, as the dew of Ammon, and as the dew that set upon the mountain of Zion, for there the Lord commanded the blessing, even life forevermore. Every unction upon a set man is the entitlement of everyone that is spiritually connected. Every. There God commands the blessing upon everyone that's a part of his garment and his cares to his food. Every. That goes to <laughs> revalidate Romans 11, 17. When you are grafted, you become a partaker. And if some of the branches be broken off, and thou be a wide olive tree, you are grafted in among them, and with them partakers of the root and the fatness of the olive. Engraftment to any prophetic ministry makes you a partaker of the virtues that exist there. A mutim prodinaka, don't be a social member of this church. You don't, you just lose out. Be a spiritual member of this household of faith and every blessing on the house becomes naturally available and accessible to you. Naturally accessible to you. Grafted. Remember the head already had it from the law. But it's a distribution channel to those that are connected. Sir, Egan is not there though. Egan is here. Hagen is not there. Benson in the house is not there. Benson in the house is here. When I'm provoked and I roar, dangers happen. Copeland is alive and well. Well, Copeland is here. He's not just in Texas, he's here. His prosperity virtue is flowing unabated. Sir, when you meet God, ask him, when I ask him last for something material. You may not want to believe, but I've never sat down to pray for a house. No look up to pray for a car. No even desired a plane. A more people put too much na prondi to narrow. No games here. I'm putting that thing in your hand today that will terminate your struggle. I'm <laughs> positioning you for undeniable dominion Amen. over life situations. Amen. You know how relaxed I am. I was never around when my wife delivered. No, no, I'm not in town. No. He's taking care of. Are you wicked? No, no, no. Ask her whether I'm wicked or I'm loving. You, 
you get to a point in your life where Jesus takes over your battle. I told our sons and daughters, I said, I've never known when you write an exam. No, I said, oh God, they are writing an exam. You should know, because we went to school to write an exam. Amen. Amen. God, you get to a point where God takes over your battles, and you are just doing what he tells you to do. Today marks the end of all concerns in your life. There's a place where war ceases. Not that war is over, but somebody is taking over the battle and you are being crowned the winner without having thrown a feast. That's the realm you are coming into. That's the realm you are coming into. Now, the impartation is on right now. It's on right now. And I can see you tapping into it because you are living here a partaker of the root and the fatness of the olive. You believe that? Let me hear your loudest amen. Yeah. Let me hear your loudest amen. Yeah. I'm prompted by the Holy Ghost to put this into your hands. The master key to a world of sweatless and noiseless breakthroughs, which I call the Jesus dream. Watch. But what is the Jesus dream? It is the kingdom advancement priority lifestyle. The Jesus dream, the kingdom advancement priority lifestyle. That dream keeps you relevant for millennia if Jesus studies. So take note of what shall we eat, what shall we drink, where shall we be closed? For after this into the end I say, but seek ye first. Matthew 6, 31 to 33. Wind back. And all these things that they are dying, pursuing after, shall be added to you. That is the master key to a world of sweatless and noiseless breakthroughs in life. David said, I've made covenant with my eyes. I will not slumber, nor sleep until I find a place for the Lord. Psalm 132, verse 1 to 3. And now, because of my affection to the house of my God, I have given all out of my private treasures the following. First Chronicles 29.3 And of all my brethren, God liked me favor to make me king. First Chronicles 28.4 And today, Jesus Thou son of David, have mercy. That's my name. That's my root. That's my name. That's my root. That's my name. <laughs> and he's holding in heaven one key called the key of David. A man sold out to God, a woman sold out to God, remains relevant for generations. Remains relevant for generations. Pacontimo, Emplum, Prodiano, it remains relevant for generations. It's not ministry, it's not preaching. It's a heart that's panting after God. A Jesus dream filled heart. A Jesus dream filled heart. <laughs> now listen. A dream is what you look forward to. A dream is a picture of the future that you have seen. Now, here is what happened. They entered the covenant to see the Lord God of their father with all their heart. And the Bible said in verse 15, 
No, let's read verse 15 properly. And all Judah rejoiced at the whole, for they had sworn with all their heart and sought him with the whole of their desires. That's the dream. The whole of their desires. That's the dream. The kingdom became the dream center of their life. That was the dream. And God gave them what? Rest. Run about. With the whole of their desire. Whole of their desire. Whole of their desire. Now, I'll share this with you. There was a time the doctor checked me and said, your blood pressure is high years ago. And I said, not mine. I went to bed. You know what happened? I was seeing the next crusade we were going. I didn't see what he said. It's not that safe. No, no space in my heart. I was seeing the next crusade I was going for. The next crusade, when they say you have a problem, you are seeing the next crusade, it left on its own. No space. Jesus dreams makes you a wonder. Yes. Wake up! Yes, sir. Wake up. So we had no time for honeymoon after our marriage. What a life. What an adventurous, fulfilling life we are living today. Jesus' dream makes a believer a wonder to his world. There are these ephemeral people on after that they don't last. They don't last. Abraham, God's commandment, his final instruction. He was an emperor, he had an army. I said, bring your son. And he banged all the appointments for the day. All board meetings, all council meetings, and went ahead early in the morning. When you become a partake of the Jesus dream, you are in command. So that is my secret card. I'm a Jesus dreamer boy. I strategize day and night on how to advance the kingdom. So it quickened my system. My system is alive 25-7. My strength is boisterous because I'm investing my strength in driving kingdom advancement matters. One day I was here and they couldn't hear me. So I was writing, you are putting your ears in my, your ears in my mouth. You are not hearing. So I was writing. As, in case I get there and they don't hear me, you come. I'll be speaking to your ears. Then you'll be saying to the people. No, none of you knew it. So I went, it was Shiloh, in partition service. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Because I won't go home Sir, you can't hear me between signs. <laughs> I'll give my note to the people in the script, be rolling the scriptures. <laughs> there, you can't beg me to go home. Please listen. This is the anchor dream of life. self tied dreams don't last. Many are victims of such dreams and they are in the grave. But with Jesus' dream, you are not only alive now, <laughs> you live for centuries. <laughs>